It seems that Google plans to replace Android with its Fuchsia OS in the future to bring its whole ecosystem. It looks like Huawei is also working on a project to get rid of the notch, and it seems compelling. And Samsung wants to join Amazon, Google, and Apple in bringing a speaker to the market very, very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera, and we've been pondering a crazy idea that we'd love your opinion in the comments. What would you think about the Pocket Now Daily also going live as a podcast? Leave us a comment down below. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with Corning Gorilla Glass. Uh, we haven't seen an update to Gorilla Glass in years. Now there is a new version 6 that is apparently twice as hard as the previous version. And we know that it doesn't necessarily mean that Corning Gorilla Glass 5 was better than 3. There are just some benefits. But it seems that in the case of 6, this is different. It seems that it withstood 15 falls up to a meter of height into direct concrete, which is interesting. Let's hope it comes with devices like the Galaxy Note 9 and the Pixel 3, hopefully. Now let's talk about Samsung. The company wants to celebrate 50 years of mankind going to the moon in a big way. It involves the Gear VR and Samsung's 837 store in Chelsea and Manhattan. For those of you that are in New York, this program is going to be live for a year where you can go experience what it's like to walk on the moon. And they have a full way to lift you up and everything, and obviously you experience it visually with the Gear VR. Seems very cool. Adam Lane just went to give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go give it a try as well. And let's continue talking about Samsung as we've got rumors that the Bixby speaker is coming and it'll be cheaper than the Google Home Max at $300. We hear that uh, it might be launched within the August timeframe, so it makes sense that it gets announced at the Unpacked event. What makes it special is obviously Bixby in addition to the fact that there is this technology that Samsung demoed at CES where it depends on where you're standing from the speaker, it'll speak in that direction. So that's all cool and all. Let's just see if it gets launched at all. And according to trusted sources, it seems that Huawei is working on its own way to get rid of the notch. It looks a lot like the essential way of getting rid of the notch, which was literally to just provide a hole for the camera. But instead of it being a sort of a notch for the camera, even if small, this is literally just a hole in the display where the camera is going to be. And then the speakers are going to be in the border again, like we see in the essential phone. We see pans for this information. We hope that it does happen. We just wonder what's going to happen to the Android user interface with that camera at the bottom. Uh, I'm really curious to see it. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with Google's Fuchsia OS. And before you scratch your heads over why we left this as the hottest news, well, we've been hearing that this project is for the company's idea of peripherals, IoT, etc. But according to the source, which is Google, the engineers, we have 100 engineers working on this project and they are planning to replace Android in the next five years. Meaning that there will be a future where Fuchsia OS will take over everything from IoT to smartphones and tablets and Android will be no more. Uh, that's rather interesting. There's a full read at Pocket Now, but let us know in the comments in today's question, what do you think? Do you think that Android deserves to get the back seat over Fuchsia? Do you think Fuchsia OS is as great? Let us know in the comments. I'm a bit skeptical. I mean, I feel there's a lot of versatility left in Android, but we'll see. I could be wrong. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily in addition to this video in Spanish, PocketNow on the audio as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this episode a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.